Ten years ago, I set out to create my own doll, and I called her Pigeon. I named her Pigeon because at the time, I lived in Brooklyn, where there were a lot of pigeons, and I just thought it was a cute name for a girl. My partner Eric suggested spelling it P-I-D-G-I-N, which means when two people who don't speak the same language find a way to communicate, and she became a kind of language for me. My first Pigeon dolls were made of porcelain, and I cast and fired them myself in the basement of my apartment building. Eventually, though, I moved into resin casting. I traveled with my dolls everywhere, taking photos wherever I went. Shooting Pigeon became its own art expression. I loved seeing her in the real world and making her come alive. At first, Pigeon was a human character, a modern girl who loved a vintage silhouette. She lived in the city, had a gay best friend, owned a sewing machine, and had two adorable cats. Eventually, though, I started thinking of her more as an actual doll, tiny and living in a world much larger than her. Because the character became a doll, she didn't have to be defined by her ethnicity, her age, or any particular time period, which I loved. Pigeon evolved into a way for me to express my feminine style and my love of dolls. I started posting my work on social media, which led to some really great projects, collaborations, and I got to meet some really cool people. As her social media following grew, her followers began creating fan art and dressing up as Pigeon dolls. I was learning what sorts of things were becoming distinctive about her through the eyes of others, and it was honestly one of the coolest experiences of my life. As the years went by, my dolls and photography became more and more refined, and eventually, my husband and I decided to take the leap and we started working together on Pigeon full-time. We began branching out and using Pigeon for our own animation and media projects, as well as traveling all over the world to industry conventions. We moved to California, which led to some even bigger opportunities, and I started collaborating on productions with larger sets as well as creating my own video content for TikTok and Instagram, which introduced me to a whole new audience that never knew I existed. Honestly, I don't know where things are headed. I don't think I ever did. Pigeon has evolved so far from where she started, but I know that deep down, she's still the same girl.